Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we beat Silfco place. We beat Giovanni at Silfco. And in this part, I'm selling all the stuff. All of these effort value raising items sell for $4,900 each. Like, all of those permanent effort value raising items. Granted, Nugget's 5,000, so yeah. But, like, seriously, if you hold on to them and just sell them, they're good. X items, not too much. I, I need to get rid of all of those, because seriously, they're clogging up my room. And to be honest, I don't think I need to catch that much stuff. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what a Room 5 does, uh, it, if a Pokemon is fainted, you can use it on it, and it heals it up to half of its total health. Half of its max health. I, did I heal? I don't think I healed. Nope. To the Pokemon Center! We may as well check out a bit of Saffron City while we're at it, because there's a couple of things you can do before... You actually finish Saffron City. For example, here's a dude. He's got a fisherman's hat, but... Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. And he gives you TM29, which is Psychic. Psychic is actually one of the better Psychic type attacks in the game. Like, no. Nah. You know, just because it's called Psychic doesn't mean it's one of the best Psychic types. Ah, what do you want? Oh yeah, I guess so. What do you want? Yeah, we can go out safely! Woo! Oh, yeah, I've talked to these people already. So anyway, um... What else are we gonna do? We're gonna head over to Copycat's house, and then we're gonna... Head up into... Uh, into the fighting dojo, which has three more trainers and the yes, yes I did. Okay, it has three more trainers and the gym leader, and then we got to do the gym. Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at my letter. And then this person's like, the copycat is cute. I'm getting her a Pokemon doll. PP up is used for PP. Where, where is the copycat's house? These people just kind of talk about copycat, but they're not copycat. They're copying copycat. There's copycat's house. Is it? There you go. My daughter is so self centered she only has a few friends. That is sad to say. Which is weird, because... The TV show kind of botched this up. Hi, oh, do you like Pokemon? Oh, uh, no, I just asked you. Oh, you're strange. But that's my favorite hobby. And then she walks backwards. Don't worry, she has Mario wearing a bucket on his head. What? What? Nintendo, you're weird. There's a rare Pokemon. Oh, it's only a doll. That's a Dodger. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of them all? That's an off-center sprite. <laughs> I love how you can, like, point it towards you. I also love how it's just like, My secrets! Girl Mimicry, hobby collecting dolls. Favorite Pokemon? Clefairy. I don't own one, though. Okay. Whatever. So anyway, yeah, so... On top of that, you can get a Nugget. I wish I had sold it. You can get Mimic somewhere, I'm not too sure. But it involves Copycat a bit. Mimic is a weird move, basically when you use it, it copies the last move your opponent used, and I think you can use it as many times as that PP for the rest of the battle. Uh, it overlaps Mimic, by the way. So yeah, so remember, the left gym is the Fighting Dojo. The Fighting Dojo... What is the best Pokemon to put in the Fighting Dojo? Uh, Clam Clam. Clam Clam, yes! Clam Clam's not too low level, but... It's just like, I wish I had higher. I hear you good, so show me your moves! Okay. I don't think I ever talked about Machoke as, you know, a Pokemon. Basically, it's got good attack, but you need to trade it in order to evolve it. And it's the evolution of Machop is level 28, which is a little bit lateish, but eh, I'm okay. It's about this point of the game. Because he could have gotten Machop a couple of times already, so. Uh, yeah, he's got Machoke. 
See, the other thing is that all these dudes are like level 30 something. And the dude at the end has two level 37 Pokemon. Which, while it's. This is strong for every other trainer in Silco, it's actually a lot weaker than Blue and Giovanni. And I don't know why. I don't know why they designed it like that. Nothing tough frightens me. I break boulders for training. Here we are. It's another Black Belt. He's only got one Pokemon. It's a Primeape. And it's level 36. And which means it's stronger than Clank Clank. Or is it? Or use an X attack. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. Freeze that. Oh, wow. He did freeze. Uh, being frozen is exactly the same as being asleep. It's just that it's a little bit more specialized, because no move, I think, actually freezes an opponent without damaging. You know, you've got Hypnosis, you've got, um, Poison Powder and Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder, I guess. You've got nothing to burn in this game. Will-O-Wisp in later games, um, like, immediately burns an opponent. But you don't actually have, um... Anything to freeze an opponent. Mankey! Surf him! There you go. I know I'm just using Clam Clam a lot, but Clam Clam is awesome. Clam Clam is awesome. Plus, I'm not gonna use him for the gym. It's a psychic type gym. I would prefer to use something like a. Like, uh, Moopy. Or even, uh... Snoozu and, uh... Grabo are better for that. Clank Clamp just... He's good against physical opponents. But just not special opponents. And the problem is, the next gym is special. The one after that, I think, is physical. The Fire Gym is special, so... Yeah. The ground gym isn't, so we're okay. By the way, I love how there is a ground gym, even though every single Pokemon in Brock's gym was ground type. So there you go, that's all the black belts, which means that now we have to fight the gym leader. Grun, I am Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Wow. Technically, you can walk around all these dudes. I think. I don't know if they let you do that, but okay. That's what you get for leaning on your emulator button. Now, this guy has two Pokemon that we've never actually seen before. The first of which is Hitmonlee. Uh, Hitmonlee has a really good attack stat, and his movesets is actually pretty nice. Um, his HP, defense, and special stats are a bit low. He's decently fast. And, of course, yeah, like, look at that. He raises his attack stat. Uh, the other problem is that he doesn't evolve. Also, he dies kind of quick, because his defense kind of sucks. The other Pokemon is Hitmonchan. Also, here's a fun joke. The Chan and the Lee part is supposed to refer to Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, who are highly prestigious uh, karate fighters. And also in films. X-Attack. Uh, so anyway, so Hitmonchan... Uh, he's not as... It's not quite as good, but as Hitmonlee, to be honest, but his attack set's still pretty high, not as high. Uh, his defense set's a bit better, and again, the move set's pretty good. Um, the only problem is that his HP and special sets still suck, and he doesn't evolve. Can't do anything about that. So yeah. So Hitmonchan is a bit better defense. So, like, if you want a bit of an all-rounder, Hitmonchan is a better Pokemon. But if you want something that's a bit all-out, then Hitmonlee is better. And by the way, if you're wondering, yes, you get to choose which one you want. To be honest, I like Hitmonlee, but he's not going on my team. I should call him Kikidoo. Kikidoo. And now he's sent to the box. So yeah, now, you can only get one of these dudes. So there you go, there's another one Pokemon that you can't get. 
Other than that, though, we're just gonna head to the gym because I completely tanked that as um clam clam, and now I'm not going to want to do that ever again. Uh, what's we'll our grabber? We'll see how well grabber is doing. Cause grabber's got good attack, so if grabber can ace this gym. By the way, this gym. Holy snap! This gym. Everyone knows this gym. It's the one with the teleporter panels. Oh my gosh, teleporter panels. Sabrina is young, but she talked to our leader. You won't reach her so easily. Okay, so basically, the gimmick of this gym is that, you, yeah, it's kind of weird. This this is like the first gym with a gimmick, or I guess the second one. Uh, first of all, it's a psychic gym, so all the Pokemon are psychic type. Uh, which is why this first person has slow pokes. Uh, other than that, just use strength. Seriously, a lot of these Pokemon don't have great defense stats. Slowpoke is a bit of an exception. He's, he's got good defense. And then he knows Growl. Just to make me a little bit sad. Oh gosh. Da 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 da! There you go. So we defeated the Slowpoke! Which means he needs to send another one. My favorite. We're all level 33. So, you, you can be thankful for that. Whoa, critical hit. Okay, strength him. Strength him, yeah. Knock him down. Eat his pants. Now, if he's got a slow bro, uh, which is the evolution of a Slowpoke. He evolves at level 37. Really good defense stat. Like, really good. Which is why I'm gonna use Guillotine and completely ignore him. <laughs> oh, that, that was perfect that that worked the first time. Um, yeah, uh, you can trade Slowbro for Lickitung if you want to later in the game. Like, not even later in the game, like, somewhere else. Um... But remember, all, there are six trainers here, by the way, in each of the other squares. I think there's... Oh, there's seven trainers. There is a trainer in each of these other squares. And here's a channel up. You're not following the rules of the Psychic Type Gym! This is poison! By the way, here's a fun fact. Seismic Toss hits Ghost types. I know it's fighting, but it hits Ghost types. There's no Ghost type attacks, though. Of a nightshade, I think, but of course, confused, right? Yeah. So I have to, I have to, I'm stuck using seismic toss because someone didn't follow the rules. Seriously. Oh, I'm paralyzed. That's brilliant. Seriously, it's a psychic gym. You have ghost poison type, and it's not even like this is the only person that does this. Sabrina herself uses a Venomoth of all things, which is a bug poison type. Seismic Toss. Um, so yeah, like, I don't even know why. And there's two channelers. No, there's three channelers. There are three channelers. All of them don't have... All of them don't have psychic types. Three of the eight trainers in this place. That's a lot of trainers, by the way. Uh, don't have psychic types. Yeah, I'm a bit tired fighting Ghastly. Do you mind if I just kind of switch out and... You know, stuff this. I'm sending out, um... Clam Clam. Why would I even bother? Any different. Serpent. Nah, he's licking me. I know I'm using Clam Clam a lot and I really shouldn't, but... Seriously, he's so good! Clam Clam. There's Nightshade. That's a question. Oh my goodness, a Haunter! Haunter Sprite, ugh. Oh, don't sleep me. Oh no, I woke up! Oh, don't do it twice in a row. Uh, 
Hey, oh, almost. Clamp! Oh no, you missed the clamp. Oh no, I'm paralyzed, that's brilliant. I might need to go heal, but I also don't know. You lost after all. Well, let's just head and... So, I'll heal up and I'll be right back. And I am right back. So anyway, so let's continue on from where we were at, pretty much. It's a bit of a confusing layout, but here's a tip. Keep going left. Kinda works. Does our unseen power scare you? Says Mr. Psychic Pants. He has a Kadabra! This guy's a bit annoying because he's got three Pokemon. Oh, four Pokemon, sorry. Strength! Yeah, good job. You just recover from full health. Good job. Like, you know you set yourself up for failure if you try healing before you- before they've even attacked you. I don't understand if it's like a buff heal, but it's not. Keep- keep strengthening. I know, we're using strength. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime! Now, to be honest, there's not actually a lot of Pokemon in this place. By the way, um... I think we saw Venomoth in the Safari Zone and I didn't actually note the fact that we hadn't seen it. I'm sorry, I'm not good at this. Oh my gosh. I'm not like checklisting them off. I'm writing I'm writing my notes. And then if it's the first time it comes up in my notes, then I'm okay with that. Except I wrote my notes in a bit of a weird order and I kinda broke that order, but I was just like, oh okay, I'll I'll just come back to things. And then it's just like, yep, here's the bio that I should have read out. This is what this is why you need to plan if you're gonna do a whole old piece like this. Keep going left. Okay, eventually, you may not be able to go left, so you go right. I can tell. No, I mean legitimately. If you can't go left, go right. Yeah, seriously, how will you end up going into a circle if you just never go, if you just keep going in a straight line? Uh, I don't feel like it. Nope, almost. No, growl, my weakness! I don't feel like it. Come on. Oh no, growl, my weakness. Here we go. I don't feel like it. There you go. He's level 38. Why would I bother? Hooray for Grabo. Grabo is our savior. Arrgh. Keep going right. Now you gotta go left. And there's another channeler. But I respect her. For I am old woman. An old woman. Okay, so, um... Ghastly. I don't think I can do this with Grabo, so... Uh... Oh, actually I can, because he's high level. Why not just using Seismic Toss? Seismic Toss! Yeah, uh, this is This is why people thought it was kind of weird that Seismic Toss, which was a fighting type attack, worked on Ghost Types. Especially because this guy... This ghastly? How do you throw a ghost? I don't even know. Ah, Confuse Ray! Ah, uh, Thunderbolt! There you go. Wow, it matches his face perfectly. Hooray! Grab a levels up. Water. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with water. So yeah. Uh, I think there are guys type Pokemon in the next gym as well, because why not? Why the heck wouldn't they do that? Ah, Nightshade. Actually, if any of you guys watch a TV show for this, oh my goodness, this is kind of scary. You know what's the worst part? I think out of the first six bad, uh, first six gyms, Ash only beats the gym leader twice. 
Seriously. He beats Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Serge properly. But he doesn't beat anything else properly. Now, the only problem is that you might end up in the same room again, but trust me, if you just keep going right or left, you will end up somewhere. Now, I know that it's just like, there are, there are seven rooms, each of these rooms has four panels, and two of those panels, one of them goes to the entrance, one of them goes to the exit, and you need to find out which, which one's linked to where. Which, yes, that basically means that there are 13 link-ups just casually, randomly somewhere. And yes, that also means that some of these link-ups go to like the same rooms. Uh, oh, I can't use Snoozy. Uh, Speed V. Just take out this large ghost. It's really annoying. Thunderbolt! Almost. Oh no, I became confused. Quick, quick, wow, well, I'm an idiot! I quick attacked. Thankfully, I wasn't actually trying to attack. Thankfully, I didn't actually hit him, but... Hey, uh, thank you, Speedy. Taking out that last ghost. Now, there is one more trainer, and I would like to take that out before I fight Sabrina. He knew it, as well. So keep going right. You go on right. You go on left. Well, we found Sabrina. We didn't get to the trainer though. There he is. Nope, this is the dude underneath us. How do we get there? Uh, we're going this one. No, that's back here. There you go. You know what power alone is a- yes it is. Yes it is, that's what Snorlax is all about! Seriously, Mega Mewtwo a psychic type! I know you shouldn't know about that by now, but Origins said it was! No, there's no Mega Mewtwo in Origins. Grabo, wake up! He's gonna slap you awake! At least it's not wake up slap. That's apparently a technique, use wake up slap on an uh, ally. They use rest. He's gonna keep using. Oh, okay, good. It's kind of weird. His eyes kind of disappear. Yes, he just used it. Oh my gosh, how long are you gonna be asleep, Grabo? Dude, he has to wake up next turn because I don't think he can be asleep for. Wow, this is your fifth turn of sleep, Grabo. Okay, Grabber, you've been asleep six turns now, and you have to spend the seventh turn not doing anything, or you could die. I don't care. I don't care whatever gets you up quicker. Snoozu! Slap him! Oh, it's because he's used light screen. Oh no, my health. I'm confused. Oh, come on! Come on! Why do you do this to me? There you go, there's your crit, there's your crit. Let's go another one, let's go Kadabra. Uh, yeah I got this, ooh, Speedy's not that strong. Clam Clam! I know, I know Clam Clam doesn't really have the best support for this. And I can't really use Bubba, because Bubba's poison type. It's not really gonna help a lot. Surf! Because Clam Clam's gonna get completely annihilated if it's a really good attack, such as Side Beam from a Kadabra. Oh, come on, Jack. Don't do that. You don't need to do that, just... there you go. Sable. You know, you also don't need to do that. Surf. Thankfully, we took him out. And we defeated the Psychic. You don't believe us, though. 
plus stuff. Okay, so anyway, I'll heal and we'll be back at Erica. So anyway, so here is my go left or right strategy. You enter, you go left, you go left, you go left, you go right, you go left, you go right, you go right, you go right again, right once more, left, left again, and boom you're at Erica. I, I don't see why people say it's kind of annoying. Cause seriously, if you keep if you go up or down, you you're kind of breaking your linear your linearity of it. I mean if you go up or down only, then that kinda of works as well. But I can't guarantee that it always works. It might work quicker, I'll try the up down trick on the way back. Oh by, by the way, this is Sabrina! Uh, Sabrina has a Kadabra that knows disable, Psybeam, Recover, and Psychic. I don't know why it needs both Psybeam and Psychic, but okay. I'm gonna wind that guillotine for later. I'm gonna use Seismic Toss. Good job, recover the first turn. Because Seismic Toss does damage according to your enemy's level. So that's gonna do 38 damage, which is a bit. Grabber doesn't have the best defense though. Well, it's special. Wow. See, this is this is a fight that I'm a little bit worried about. I mean, I'm, I'm okay. She's only got four Pokemon, to be honest. The middle two aren't gonna be that bad, it's just this one. Oops. Psychic and Psybeam. What's the difference? One of them was used to kill me. But seriously, both, like, very similar. Uh, Speed Beat. You're just gonna out outspeed him. In fact, you may as well just use Quick Attack. Bam! Speed Beat takes all the credit. Okay, now, she's got Mr. Mime. Uh, the Mr. Mime knows Confusion, Barrier, Light Screen, and Double Slap. It, it's kind of the same, uh, loadout that she always kind of had. Uh, I just say power down this thing, because it's gonna, it's gonna be powerful. It's, it's going to block all of your attacks. Or it's just gonna use Confusion. Mr. Mime's not that bad. Like, that was a crit, and that took down, like, half of my health. So I'm okay. That was a crit, and that took down all of us, also, yeah. Uh, now, Sabrina's got a Venom off. I don't know why. I honestly do not know why she has a Venom off. Uh, in any case, I'm gonna send out Snoozoo. Uh, Venom off bugs poison type, if you're wondering. Or it's a flying, I don't know. It's not psychic type, I can tell you that. Uh, this one knows poison powder, leech seed, Sunspore and Psybeam, and if you're wondering, it's the evolution of Venonat at level 31. Uh, yeah, we were supposed to see it now for the first time, instead of uh, Safari Zone, which you can actually catch just straight up. I know you poisoned me in a Psychic Type Gym. I got paralyzed in the Psychic Type Gym, and I could have been poisoned for all I know. I got put to sleep in the Psychic Type Gym, so all you need is freezing. Uh, Leech, Leech Life. Why? I don't even know. And finally, Alakazam! Holy snap, Alakazam! Moopy, you haven't gotten enough screen time. Alakazam! Actually, actually, Blue had one. Blue, Blue had an Alakazam. Uh, it's the evolution of Kadabra through a trade. We've got a good speed and special, just not good defense. Unfortunately, he's got that backed up. And also, he's kind of a higher level. Thunder Wave, please. Uh, other than that, he knows Psybeam, Recover, Psy Wave, and Reflect. Psy Wave, holy snap, it's kind of deadly. If it did damage, if it did damage, it's not doing damage, so I'm just gonna keep spamming Slam. Moopy, you got this. I was, I was worried, I, had, I was thinking I had to use Guillotine to take this guy down, but nope. Oh, maybe Psybeam. Maybe Psybeam was the end of me. No, Moopy! You're doing so well. Oh, come on! You've been paralyzing your attack twice! And, of course, he knows Recover. Because why wouldn't he? Nose Bean! Well, Moopy, you didn't deal any damage. Sorry, you didn't take off any of his health. Uh, Speed V, you can do this. With Quick Attack? 
I don't really know what else to use, so... Thunderbolt! I guess Thunderbolt would be the better attack. It's just that he's got good special, so it's gonna block it a bit. And also, he's got Nose Laser Psy Beam. Aw, oh, dude. I would use a Hyper Potion, but I don't feel like it. Because I know he's gonna use Recover. Oh no, he's going for Reflect. Wow. Wow, Speed V. Speed V, you did it. You did it, Speed V. You did it. Yeah. So, yeah, so we beat Sabrina. Well, it took us half an hour. But then again, we fought two gyms. She didn't work hard enough to win, so we earned the Marsh Badge. The Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. That, that's kind of a bit of a silly thing, because none of my Pokemon are above level 40. Uh, she also gives you 40, uh, TM46, which is Psy Wave. It's apparently powerful. I, I don't know, it didn't do that much damage when Alakazam used it. Also, I'm poisoned. Uh, let's use the up down trick to get it to get here quicker. Maybe maybe it is quicker. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it just gets you lost in here forever. Well, it's definitely in the room that I had to go to. Well, I can't get you lost here forever because if it links to the exit. That means that it has to link up at some point, like right now. There you go. You know, it's no longer than the left-right trick, so you may as well choose one of the two. So just here's a tip. Stick to one axis. If you can't go up, go down. If you can't go down, go up. Or if you can't go left, go right. And if you can't go right, go left. But never swap the two. Never go up and left. That never works. That's how you get lost in there. Seriously, that, that, that's, a, that's a good trick. Uh, other than that, that's about it. And to be honest, the next gym might not take us too long. But I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Blue. See you kids then. I'm just gonna fly to, uh, to, um, uh, Fuchsia right now. I got a lot of random Pokemon now, like so. Seriously, this place is so far away, oh my gosh. Okay, see you guys next time.